Hi all, this video is going to help you understand how to use the standard curve uh, given to you for uh, this lab and convert between absorbance and concentration. So you open the standard curve and um, you have all these data points and you have our linear fit here. And previously we would have used the y equals mx plus b equation um, with the slope and the y-intercept to, um, you know, by hand convert absorbance and concentration where one's the X and one's the Y. And that, and that was great and it's valuable for you to understand exactly what's happening, but in this lab we have a lot of data points and that would be very tedious. So instead, we are going to make Logger Pro do that for us. So we go to Analyze, Interpolation Calculator, and in class we discussed the difference between interpolating and extrapolating data. And when we open up the interpolation calculator, it opens up this image for us here. And um, we have two options. We can either put in an absorbance or a concentration, which is great because we have all these absorbances and I want to get concentration. So you're gonna convert all of your absorbances for all five experiments that we did. And you have five graphs all with absorbance data. You're gonna convert all of that to concentration. So I recommend doing this using your data tables that were written down, like make another column that says concentration, so that then when you open up Logger Pro, you can do um, all of it and you have all the data down. So let's say I want to convert an absorbance that was 0 0.234, okay? My absorbance I put in here and then it automatically pops out the concentration in nanomoles per liter. Um, that that absorbance would be equivalent to. So it's doing all of the math for you. And this makes sense, right? An absorbance of 0.2 is sort of in between these two data points over here. So it makes sense that the concentration is like 19.18, therefore in between 12.5 and 25. Let's say my next absorbance is 0 0.46 or something. You know, it gives me my concentration. I can sort of go down the line and figure out all of my concentrations. And so then uh, when I go into all of my other graphs, I have concentration data instead of absorbance data. I change what's on my Y um, axis, just changing the numbers, changing the label, and you should be good to go. Okay. Uh, the one thing I will warn you, notice that our last absorbance here is 1.23. So what happens if we put in something over? It says not found. And the reason is because um, it does not want to extrapolate data, right? Um, what if this line is not appropriate for data pieces outside of the range? And I believe we might have a data point or two that follows into this. And so you can actually um, either remove that data point or do the math by hand, and that will be okay. When you're done, you just press cancel. Uh, just so you know, if you if you do this and you hit OK for something, right, and you accidentally hit OK, it's going to all of a sudden add another box where that point would be. We don't want to do that for all of our data points. You can just X out of it. Okay? And that is the video.